Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to debrand the Samsung Galaxy S6. So, if you live here in the UK and you've just picked up a Samsung Galaxy S6, your device might be locked to a network like mine. Mine's locked to EE, as you can see here. So, my device has all the EE pre installed applications on it. Also, when I go into the app tray here, as you can see, EE once again. So I'm going to show you how you can de-bloat it and get rid of all that crap. Um, I'm just going to mention that debranding it will also allow you to get over-the-air updates a lot quicker as well. Because as you all know, when you're locked to a network, um, any updates have to go through testing. So you normally have to wait a bit longer to get updates. But debranding it, following this tutorial and debranding it, you'll get updates a lot quicker. So um first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to back up any important files on your samsung galaxy s6 so make sure you just back up all important files because doing this will wipe your phone clean so just remember that um, the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go ahead and download odin and the version is version 3.10.6 so I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Just go ahead and download it. Once you've downloaded it, just right click on your desktop anywhere and make a new folder. And then drag and drop the Odin zip file into the new folder. then just right click on it and you'll need to extract it here make sure you've got WinRAR installed to extract it or any other extracting kit so I'm just gonna extract that real quick okay so I'll just put that up there next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to open up your web browser and go to SAM mobile firmwares I'll leave a link to that in the description down below but you can just type in SAM mobile firmwares and it'll come up on Google then just open it up and now just type in Galaxy S6 And you should see all these different model numbers so if you've got the edge you choose any one of them too and if you've got the s6 you choose whatever model number you've got so I've got the g920 F so I'm just gonna go ahead and select that okay so here you get a long list of different countries and different firmwares so you just look for the one what you need and go ahead and download it so mine's not on there so I'm going to choose select country here and it opens up a few more options so I'm just going to scroll down till I find United Kingdom BTU and there it is United Kingdom BTU this is the unlocked variant of the Samsung Galaxy S6 okay so here's the firmware I want here it is it's the latest one with a date of the 24th of the 4th 2015 so just go ahead and click on this option here and then go ahead and select regular download and then it'll allow you to download if it doesn't allow you to download that means you need to sign up um, with some firmware and um, once you sign up it'll 
give you access to the download. To sign up, it only takes a few seconds and it's free. So just sign up and then it'll give you access to go ahead and download the stock firmware. So I'm not gonna download it because I've already downloaded it already. And here it is on my desktop. So once you download it, this is how it'll look. It'll be a zip file just like this. So what you need to do now is, is just right click on your desktop once again. And create a new folder. open up the new folder and then drag and drop the stock firmware into the new folder and then just right click on it and extract here the extraction, the extraction process takes a few minutes because it is a big file Okay, so it's finished extracting. Next thing to do is the file which says .tar on it, this file here. Just drag and drop that onto your desktop. Okay, so now just go back to the folder where you extracted Odin earlier on and just go ahead and open up Odin okay so what you need to do now is, is put your phone into download mode so just power it off remember before you do all this do back up all your important files because once again like I says this is gonna wipe your phone clean so make sure you back up all important files so power off and now we need to go into download mode so press the volume down button here on the side volume down home button and the power button as well so you're gonna press all three at the same time volume down home and power until you get this message this warning message now press the volume up button to continue now connect your phone to the USB cable Now you can put your phone down.
okay so this little box here make sure it's blue if it's not blue that means you need to install the Samsung key drivers so I'll leave a link to the Samsung key drivers in the description down below just install Samsung keys and it'll install the drivers and then this box will then turn blue if it's not already blue okay so the next thing we need to do now is is just select AP and we're going to look for that stock firmware what we extracted and saved onto the desktop and there it is make sure it says home.tar on the end just go ahead and select it okay you're gonna get this message up here what says not responding that's perfectly normal don't worry about it it's gonna take a few minutes and then it'll respond and now we're just waiting for the firmware to show up beside AP once it shows up then it'll start responding again Okay, so there is it showing up beside AP there. And now it's responding. Okay, so just make sure you've got this box ticked and nothing else is ticked. And then just go ahead and hit the start button here. Go ahead and hit start. And now the whole flashing process will start. On your phone here you should see this little progression bar as you can see it's starting to fill up white so you need you need for it to go right to the end that little white bar it needs to go right to the end and once it reaches the end the flashing process will be done also here on Odin as you can see we've got this little bar here and it's green we need that to get right to the end and then once it gets to the end and it says pass up here it should say pass once it says pass then the flashing is done complete so the whole flashing process does take about seven to ten minutes so just be patient
Okay, so as you can see, we're halfway through here. Little white bars halfway through. Same with the green bar up here. God, this camera sucks. It doesn't stay focused. I'm also going to add that doing this as well, um, if you ever root your Samsung Galaxy S6 or your S6 Edge, um, you can do this, follow this same procedure, it will unroot your device and also put it back to stock as well. So be sure to favourite this video and save it because it's a very handy video, it will help you out in future when you need to unroute okay so we're almost done here So now it's just flashing the radio there. Okay, so it says pass there at the top left hand corner and the phone has now started to reboot. Still keep the phone connected. Whatever you do, do not unplug it yet. Down here at the bottom, if I can just focus in. Down here at the bottom, make sure it says succeed one and failed zero. Once it says that, you know that um, the flash has been very successful. You've had no issues with the flash. Okay, so it's optimizing the applications here. Okay, so you can go ahead and shut Odin down. Just hit exit. Now unplug your phone. Okay, so once you unplug your phone, you'll notice that you'll still have uh, branding on the phone. So as you can see, I've still got it, EE. -E, the EE pre-installed applications are still there. So what you need to do now is, is just power off the phone. So volume, I mean, sorry, power down. So power off.
Okay, so now we need to go into stock recovery mode. So just press the volume up button along with the home button and the power. So you're gonna press all three, volume up, home button and power to go into stock recovery mode. Okay, so now we're in stock recovery. Use the volume down button and go down to where it says wipe data factory reset and just highlight it. Now just press the power button here on the side. Now go down again, use the volume button, go down again to where it says delete all data user and then once again press the power button to perform the wipe and it should say down here at the bottom data wipe complete down here at the bottom now just highlight reboot system now it should already be highlighted anyway and then just press the power button to reboot the phone Okay, once it's finished rebooting, you'll have to go through the whole setup process again. And now as you can see, all the branding has gone. All the EE bloatware has now gone off the phone. As you can see there. And now the phone will be able to get over the, over the air updates a lot quicker now. So yeah, this was just a quick video tutorial showing you how to debrand your Samsung Galaxy S6 if it was locked to a network and to get rid of all the bloatware what comes with the carrier and also um, how to get over the air updates quicker so yeah if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up leave your comments in the comment section down below and subscribe to the android doctor for more videos thanks for watching i'm out deuces